Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Colossians 3 verse 2. Makolosa 3 2. Can I read for you? Amen. Set your mind on the things that are above, not on the things that are upon the earth. I wanted to read that verse again. Set your mind on the things that are above, not on the things that are upon the earth. Amen. I'll read verse 3. For ye died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. For ye died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I was reading this verse today. I found that God has given us ability and this ability is there that we are even able to control our minds. Our minds. Control your mind. The Bible says, set your mind. Meaning that your mind can rotate. You can set your mind to a one direction. On the things above. The reason because you died. Automatically it means your, your mind is a tool of victory and it's also part of your connections to your direction. Just write your mind. That is my topic, your mind. It says set your mind Amen. on the thing. It means you are able to set. You are able to make your mind to face to a certain direction. The reasons why you are able to do that because the Bible says you died. If you died, the things of the world are no longer part of you. There's life now of you in Christ. And therefore, you are above the things that are on earth. Always we know that the battle of a Christian is in the mind. And for a Christian to overcome he must be able to set his mind on the things above. In Romans 12 verse 2, it talks about be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Can you read uh, in Amplified Bible? It says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. In other words, your mind makes you to move from one place to another. Can you read verse 2, Mama? Verse 2. Yes. It says, and do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind focusing on godly values and ethical attitude so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you. When I was reading this verse, it shows that the will of God will never be part of us unless, unless, unless we are transformed. 
we renew our mind. That is then we can prove what God wants to do with our lives. For the will of God to be perfected in us, we set our minds and we are transformed where the will of God will be perfected. I don't know if you're hearing that. So our focus now is to check where our minds are. If our minds are in Christ, we will prove what God wants us to do. So the will of God will never be be perfected in us when we look that side and look that other side. I will show you a scripture in Romans. If you read Romans 8, you will understand what I'm saying. Because the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind to prove the will of God. What God wants to prove in your life. Let's read Romans 8 verse 5. When I was reading this verse, I found that we are between by our mind. Romans 8 verse 5. We are between by our minds. By our minds. So that is what the Bible says we must set our minds. Romans 5 verse 5. Romans 8. 8. Verse 5. For those who are living uh -huh. according to the flesh, uh -huh. set their minds on the things of the flesh. Set their minds, okay. Which gratified the body. But those who are living according to the spirit, set their minds on the things of the spirit, his will and purpose. Verse 6, it says what? Verse 6 says, Now, the mind of the flesh is death, both now and forever, because it pursues sin. But the mind of the spirit is life and peace, the spiritual well-being that comes from the walking with God, both now and forever. Read 7. 7 Ayare. The mind, sorry. The mind of the flesh is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed it can be. Verse 8 it says, They that are in the flesh cannot please God. And he says, But ye are not in the flesh, verse 9, Amen. but in the spirit. And if so, be that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. But if any man hath not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Amen. I want to show you what the scripture is saying. Can you get three people here? I love to show by three people. Three people. 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 Let's get this one inside. Okay. You face that side. Face. All of you face that side. I mean, make one line straight. Here, the scripture is saying this man here it is the mind. And this one is the spirit. And that one is the flesh. The Bible says, set your mind. Therefore, it means your mind here can rotate. Can you turn around? Turn around, turn around, turn around can rotate between the spirit and the flesh. Now, it's you who have power to set your mind in the spirit. I don't know if you're hearing me. So, let's read this verse 7 you hear there. Six. Six, it says what? For the mind of the flesh, if this one Turn that side to the mind of the flesh. It says the mind of the, the flesh is death. But the mind of the spirit is life. Okay, look at verse 7. It says what? Verse 7. Because the mind of the flesh is enmity of God. And then it says, 
against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed it can be. Amen. And then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. So listen. The moment you set your mind in the flesh like this, you have created an enmity with this one. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. The moment you set your mind in this one, you create an enmity with this one. That's what the Bible says. It says that you cannot live for yourself. Amen. You have to please someone here. But now, the mind Jano. in the spirit Jano. is eternal life. Mo and the mo mind mo in the flesh, it leaves you to and death. And so you choose your mind is in the center of your flesh and what? And the spirit. I don't know if you hear me. So if your mind is still rotating, rotating. if your mind is still doing like this, you will live a life of doubt. Two, the will of God will never be part of you. Three, you cannot please God. But when your mind is in the spirit, can you see that? It means you are able to bring what God wants to do with you. Which is the will of God for you. Okay. God bless you. Okay. Thank you. Alright, if you read verse 9, read verse 9, it says what? It says what? But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. And if so, be that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. It says, you people here, you must know that you can set your mind. But when God chose you, he made you to live in the spirit. So you are the one who can choose to be in the flesh. You are the one who can take yourself back. Remember your life is hidden above. Even what you search is the things from above. So you are not in the flesh, you are in the spirit. And if you are in the flesh, you don't have his spirit. You can't please him. And you are none of him. Therefore, your mind can determine if you are in the flesh or in the spirit. Tell them your mind determine you if you are in the flesh or in the spirit. Because the thoughts that are coming from your mind defiles you to be in the flesh. And you, are not, you, are, you are none of him. You know, when I was thinking about this, I began, I began to say, truly, you know, we will be very much surprised in heaven. Ah, I was beginning to think about it, I say. Because Many of us, we are talking things of the spirit and no one can search our minds. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing me. And now, by the time the one who searches the minds try to expose the minds. I mean, you will be very much surprised. You will be surprised that some preachers are not preachers. I don't know if you are hearing me. You will be surprised that some Christians are not Christians. Because you will find that in the mind of a Christian who is preaching in that mind are the things of the flesh. And the person by the flesh is making an enmity with God. But he is preaching God. And on the other side, he's making an enemy of God. So you, are, you have got ability as a person. You have got ability to become a preacher or a Christian as you are the enemy of God. A person has got ability to speak what is not. This is the time that you clear your mind. You renew, renew your, your mind. mind. And you check what is entering your mind. If it's worthy to 
that will of God. Listen. There are things that God will never do. With us to prove the will of God. If our minds are still occupied by Satan. I don't know if you are hearing me. Many times we talk about the things of the spirit. But our minds are still occupied or arrested by the devil. Let me show you another scripture. Maybe it will help us on what we are talking about here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So therefore it means we need to saturate our minds by the word of God to produce the will of God. I was reading here, I was shocked in the book of Ezekiel 28 from verse 1 to 10 like a boy and rich and rich the Bible says when we start to be rich when you start to receive everything this was a judgment that was spoken by the Ezekiel he said, you see, I took you and I make you rich. You tire and sit down. I and you. I make you rich. But you, li- you rely on your riches. To extend that, you don't want to hear what you God tell says. You rely on your mind. And you tell yourself by your mind, you are able to do you this. Know, I began to understand that you ever rely on his mind. He makes enemy to Tell God. Tell him, whoever rely in his mind or her mind, that person makes enemy to God. You know, here, God was saying, when the pride came, you began to call yourself, I'm the one who's doing it. And he said, now, I will leave you to, to the people that will oppress you and destroy you. And what will happen? Will you call and yourself God? I don't know if you're hearing that. I just want us to read that verse. I, think, uh, I was thinking you would read it at home. Can I tell you this? Your ability of receiving things can also sometimes deprive you to understand the source where the, those things are coming from. If now you reach a level where you have everything and you still forget that ca- these things are coming from God, it is possible the pride can come in. And you begin to think you have achieved all by your ability. And God will leave you. And you carry on with your mind. But now, by the time when you seek God, God you will leave you. Can you just read verse 1? Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28. It is the word of the Lord came again to me saying, son of man, uh-huh. say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the, the Lord God, Yes. because your heart is lifted up mm. and you have said and thought, I am God, I sit in the seat of the gods, in the heart of the seas, yet you are only a man, weak, feeble, made of earth, and not God, though you imagine yourself to be more than mortal, and think your mind is as wise as the mind of God. Behold, you are imagining yourself wise than Daniel. There is no secret you think that is hidden from you. With your own wisdom and with your own understanding, you have acquired your riches and power and have brought gold and silver into your treasures. But your great wisdom and by your trade, you have increased your riches and power. And your heart is proud and arrogant because of your wealth. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have imagined your mind to be like the mind of God, having thought and plans like God himself. Therefore, behold, I will bring strangers, Babylonians, upon you. 
the most ruthless and violent of nations and they will draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom O Tyre and defile your splendor they will bring you down to the pit of destruction and you will die the death of all those who die in the heart of the seas okay listen to that here god was saying mama jibunare you started with me o thomile ka nna botsi now later when you see the everything is there how to mo bona re ka moka ka o fela diteng you pride yourself wa thomo e go gomosha you say you have achieved this by wa wa ke gone ka me gopolo ya ka In, in fact whatever you do it with but your mind without involving god when the bible says do not lean on your own understanding you know what you are doing you, you are inviting you are inviting your death you, you are inviting your end you know it's only this week i was telling someone i was telling the person i said okay the person was saying why are you still speaking with me <laughs> you know we talked i said no please i don't want to do things like that and then also i said okay i blocked the person like that But my heart say I must not block but sometimes I block the person But later I block the person uh, just So this person say but why are you still speaking with so me? So mutho na mara why you let us alone ka mo ntswaleletso ba won khe I say I didn't block you alone. Ka ra o wa ke a khelela wena o lete. You know the issue is I treat a master. Inna geleka tshwara mo mo. The same way I treat a slave. Ke oka ke treat mo rena ka mogo ke treatang le goba. You know you, if you reach a level whereby there is no better person you Ah o fita siemong sa o fita le tabeng ya ora ona motho mo ka hone. God will continue to bless. Mo di mo ta tswela pela o shofatsa. But when you are blessed. Tsona ga ha o shofetse he. And you begin to think it is your mind. Wa thomo na ano ke ka le baka la hore ke a khona. You are inviting your hand. Eh eh o mema o fela ha ha. How are we going to know your minds? Re to tsiba jwang mina ga no ya ha. Is when you have got ability to have everything you want. Ke re wena o na le bogone ba o ba le ntho ka o fela tse o na le tsona. Is when you have got an access amen How are we going to know you? Rito o tsiba jwang wene. Is when you, the day you receive what you want. Tshi le wena o to amogela ka ntwela. We're going to know you soon. Rito o tsiba botsana. This month will know you. Wedi here tata ru tsiba botse. Because you are about to receive. Le bakali ke o to amogela isigale. What you want. Ntwela gale o ilela. You know I was telling mama I said I said I was telling mama this I said Nake botsa mama ke re taba e Some people that you are we are supporting in the church But ba bangwe ba re ba supportang mo ke re keng They are there in the church Ba gona ka mo because of support Ka le ba ka la hore ba supportiwa Nake botsa mama I said if we can stop the support Ah re ka re ya toela ntwe ya o supporta And say we don't support anyone Na re ya re sa supporta motho you will know their minds what about tseba botse mina hano because some people you never know them kar ba tla ngo ka tso ba tsebile as long as they are receiving from you as long as una le ntho ba o o ba fang yona ba mogae time when they become mara ka nna ko ye ba thomo ba marena ka bo bona is then you will know their minds no no ta ba tseba botse me go pula ya bona they have the word of god or le ntjo la modimo a leo their minds are not renewed me go pula ya bona ya mthafatswa the day you receive a job will know you le tsa tsile wena wa mogela mo mere gore to o tseba botse the day you just receive a job will know you le tsa tsile o tsholang mere gore to o tseba botse your mind ka hore me go pula wa ha wo does it that submit o ikokobetsa go lana o dira e o ikokobetsa lo ya fa se o la ga re di thapelo tsa lana o re rapela o di rapela re ka sa thola re di bone every month you will be going now you are in the church by what you are getting because you are in the flesh but when you are in the spirit i don't know if you hear me whether you receive a bundle wa mogela motalo ba awa 
you will prove what is the will of God upon your life. I can give you an example. If you want to see how judgment of God comes, God does not look at the actions, but he looks at our minds. The Bible says Satan one day, he looked at the seat of God. 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 Anna, Anna. He need to stay on top Are of God. It's only the mind of Satan. That when God sees it, He brought punishment. At I don't know if you are hearing me. It is our minds that are putting us where we belong. Where we are today. Because of our mind. Tell where you are today. It is your mind. You can still go. When you change your mind. In the book of Isaiah. I just want us to look that verse there. Isaiah. Isaiah. If you read for chapter 14, chapter 14 from 12, 12 you find Satan saying, me, uh, uh, me, I can go up. I can be better than that one. When you reach a level where your mind tells you you can be better than someone, you are a dangerous person. You are creating danger. Because you are supposed to appreciate people the way they are. But I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. Can you just read the mind of Saturn there? How you have fallen from heaven, O uh -huh. star of the morning, light bringer, sun of the dawn. You have been cut down to the ground. You who have weakened the nations, king of Babylon. But you said in your heart, uh -huh. I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit on the mount of assembly. I will remote parts of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. Here he was telling himself. For you to fall down. Tell yourself you are better than others. Devise schemes Baba, tell of putting others down. With you, you are telling yourself when I wear a boot, and God is watching your mind. I don't know if you are hearing me. If we read Colossians 121 1, 21. Yes. Read there. Verse 21. Yes. It says, And although you were at one time estranged and alienated and hostile minded towards him, participating uh -huh. in evil things, yet Christ has now reconciled you to God in his physical body through death in order to present you before the Father, holy and blameless and beyond reproach. This scripture is very important for us. We need to know where we come from. Where you need to know where you come from. Where God took you. You must know where you come from. You know, sometimes... If you know where you come from. When now you are in a seat of victory. When now you are in a seat of victory. Satan will bring those things that he used to do before. This is the time that you clear your mind. This is the time that you prove Satan that you have changed. You are a new creature. The past is gone away from you. Because since I started to read this scriptures, where I saw where God took me, when Satan brings some things, I put them aside. 
Remember that the Bible said we have set our minds in the things of the Spirit about where Christ is. Our redemption is from above. Our blessing is from above. Even our battles are from above. We must not forget where God took us. And we try to fight our battles by our power. And we try to assist God. He took us from nothing. He can still take us ahead. I want to prophesy someone who is listening to me. Where you are, you are still going to move forward. Listen. I'm hearing this when I'm preaching. Where you are looking at, it's not where God is taking you. God wants to take you beyond. Say, I'm going beyond. You see, the Bible said, God is able to do above, above what you think. You are thinking, you will reach there. But I'm hearing God say, you are going beyond. I mean, just clear your mind. Remove the battles from Satan. Set your mind in the things of God. Be transformed from the things of the world. And you look ahead and be renewed every day. And God who sees your heart will lift you to where you're going. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I'm preaching this, I begin to think that temptations will come. Don't forget that you are coming from somewhere. And you are going somewhere. Don't die where you are. Don't die where you are. I say you are going somewhere. Listen, shake someone say, my brother. Sister, you are going somewhere. Tune your mind according to God's will. Sometimes Satan says, Look at yourself. You can't achieve anything. You tune your mind according to the scripture. And the Bible says, the Bible says, I'm not afraid of that. 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 When I put my leg, I dominate. I'm not afraid of that. 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 What devil is doing on you? Your mind, your mind is a tool of your victory. Your mind is a tool of your breakthrough. Your mind is a tool of making you to overcome. Your enemy. You believe shout hallelujah. Look at the scripture. You will love it. Maybe if you do that, when you start to God start to give you something, you don't blame us. Romans one. Baroma 1, verse 28. Baroma 1, 28. Oh, Jesus. Read that verse, you will hear. I mean, go and read the verse and reread it. It says what? And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God as, or consider him worth knowing as their creator, God gave them over to a depraved mind to do things which are improper and repulsive. You hear that? When you are given a choice How feel we had? of dealing with your mind, you are expected to obey God. But when you don't want to do God will make you to do things that will shame yourself. Can you read that verse again? Read it again. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God or consider him worth knowing as their creator, God gave them over to a deprived mind to do things which are improper and repulsive. To do things which are not fitting. Reprobate minds. You know, you do things that 
People, when they look at you, they say, Ah, <laughs> we thought you are a Christian. You, you do things that people will be shocked. The bad things you find that you are the one who's doing. Because you never allow God <laughs> to be God in your life. God will give you to the minds. When you want to build a house, you'll build another house that people <laughs> will build. When they pass, they say, hey, you, you, something that is not fitting. You will build the house that will follow. You. You'll be surprised you are married, you'll sleep with a girl. You, you'll be surprised you are, you are a rapist. You'll be surprised you are a rapist. You are speaking in tongues, but you are a rapist. I don't know if you hear me. You will do things which are not fit. Sometimes you will be surprised you are insulting. But the same mouth of it will be the same mouth of insulting. It will be the same mouth of insulting. I don't know if you hear me. I mean, you people here, you must know that it is a choice. You have been given. You have been given to do things which will be of the will of God. You are supposed to fulfill them. It starts from your mind. It doesn't start outside of your mind. Tune your mind. I don't know if you hear me. I understand the scripture of Joshua 1 verse 8 and 9. When the Bible says Joshua Joshua I mean, use the word of God. Think about it. In your mind. In and out. And it will, it will make you prosper. Okay, just read that verse. It's important for you. Verse 8. Verse 8. Uh-huh. Joshua 1. Joshua 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall read and meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will be successful. Look here. I want to tell you about this scripture. When now you choose your mind and set it and to the things of God. You take the word of God to be part of your mind. You are no longer waiting for God now. Your solution relies on you. You will make your way prosper. Not the word of God now. The word of God is ready in your mind. I don't know if you hear me. You are meditating it. You live by it. Now you will make your way. You. Read it again, Mama. You will make your way. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Uh huh. But you shall read and meditate on it. Read and meditate on it. Day and night. Day and night. So that you may be careful to do everything in accordance with all. According to the book. That is written in it. Uh -huh. For then uh -huh. you will make your way prosperous. Then and you, then you will yourself. When, uh, you will make your when, uh, way. Your solution lies on you. When you start to have the word of God in your mind, you will prove what is the will of God for you. When you obey the word. When you obey the word. Yourself when, uh, will be tuned unto the will of God. You will find a way. You will make a way. When, uh, and reach where you are supposed and to be. You are going to be a prophet of yourself. You have to make your way for yourself. The word of God in your mind will open your understanding and bring forth what is that will of God. And from there, 
You will know where to stay. You will know where to live. You will know what to do. You will know what you are about to do. I prophesy someone here. There is a way in front of you which was closed for many years and is open for you. I say it is open for you. You need to make a way for yourself. Start moving. Start moving on that way. Some, some people here in Charisse, things work them way. They make work them way out. Things. You come here, you sit here. Because you have made it, a thought will just come. Do oh. this. I don't know if you hear me. When you do that, you find yourself, hey, this is your way out. I don't know if you hear me. I see God prospering you. I see God prospering you. Can I prophesy someone? Which one? This year, wow. this month, this is the month that those who think it's over yeah, with you are about to see you flourishing. I see you being successful. I don't know if you're hearing me. I see success in your life. I now right here. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can tell somebody say, hey, I'm thinking with my mind. I'm not a failure. This is my month of success. I'm putting this in my mind that my destiny is about to be fulfilled. This is the month. This is the month of my destiny. This is the month. This is the month I've been waiting for. You can stand up. Prayer with Apostle JB Makananisa. Touch your screen now. The Bible says we must not lean on our own understanding. Today, we have studied many courses. But what are we doing today? If we might have seek God from the beginning, we will know that these courses are useless. You know the Bible says they will be given to reprobate minds. You will study things that will never work for you. You will have knowledge that will never give anything to you. Have you ever find you are busy with something that has not produced anything? When you pray God, guide you your way. When you invite him to guide your way. Because if we can call 95% of people here. You have studied things. Today they are useless. Your minds have been occupied. But look at yourself today. Look at yourself. This is the time that you can ask God to guide your destiny, to put you in his will. This is the time. But if you are here also, you want to live right, but you find yourself living wrong. You can change today and ask God. And say, I want to repent. There's something that I don't love, but I'm doing that. My, My mind, mind controls me. You find a Christian is still doing masturbation. Lies and all the things. Let me call you to come here to, to repent. You can come here and God when he brings Jesus to your heart, you will have the mind of Christ. 
You will have a mind of Christ. By accepting him. You will have the mind of Christ. All of us who we are standing here, let us raise our hands before the Lord. Before we can pray this prayer, tell yourself inside your heart, I want my mind to be renewed the way I was thinking before. I must never think this way again. I want to do things according to the word of the Lord we have had. We must have the word in our mind so that our minds can be renewed. In other words, from today, you are going to go and make the word of God your friend. Study it, read it each day, every day and every night so that you can be able to meditate on it. You can never meditate on something that you don't have in your mind. You meditate the word because the word is in your mind. So raise your hands, close your eyes, let us pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. Father, I have wronged you. I was coming in your house but not doing things according to your word. But today I heard your word. I want to change. I want my life to change. I want my mind to be renewed. I want your word in me so that I can meditate upon it. Help me to understand your word. Give me revelations of your word. As I'm going to study your word from today, my mind will be renewed. I'm going to live a new life. I'm going to walk a new walk. I will never do the past things again. From today, Lord, I come to you. Make me your child again. Accept me in your kingdom. Write my name in the book of life again. Holy Spirit, lead me again. Walk with me again. I want to be born again. I want to be a new creature. I surrender all to you. I give all to you. Whatever I have in my life, they all belong to you, Lord. From today, I am your own. And I am your child. In Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, thank you for convincing me, for giving me this opportunity. Of hearing your word. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. Amen. Keep watching Charis TV.